Hi, welcome to JMeter Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss parameterization testing in JMeter. Okay, so with the help of CSV dataset config, so which is a config element that is a CSV dataset config. So what is the use of this CSV dataset config? So it is uh, useful in read data lines from the CSV file and split them into variables. Okay. What are the data you are passing in the CSV file? That data will be split into the variables. Okay. Means that data is going to saving into the particular variables as per given names. Okay. As per given name, that variables is going to store those particular test data from the CSV file. Okay. And uh, second point, it is useful in handling a large number of variables. So if you want to test uh, very large application which is having different different uh, customer registration forms, okay, and enrollment forms, KYC forms. So at that time, if you want to test particular those situations, then you can go for uh, the CSV dataset config like web services testing, okay, REST API testing, so like this you can perform. Okay, which is a useful for testing with random and unique values for samples. Okay, which could be HTTP samples and uh, web services samples, REST API samples, okay, JDBC connection samples. Okay, like this you can perform random values testing with the help of JMeter. It is a parameter parameterization in JMeter. Okay, so what is this parameter? Okay, it is having different parameters. So let me show you this is my script i have uh, created and uh, recorded just like and the previous lesson i have explained about summary report analyzing as well as how to calculate this throughput okay let me add a csv dataset config so this is a logic controller it is not it is a config element okay csv dataset config okay so and this csv dataset config having different parameters which is configure the csv data source first one is a file name see i have given the file name the name of the file path so what are the file name you want to give here so if you have uh, different file names like you can give multiple file names by using different config set configs okay De adding csv data set configs you can pass multiple files so this is my file path and uh, I have uh, created here this is my test data this is a CSV file just copy here and uh, your file name this data dot CSV okay save and uh, what is this file encoding so if you have a encoded files the encoding to be used to read the file if not the platform is default okay if not the platform default suppose we have a one file which is not uh, running in which is not uh, running windows platform so at that time you can use file encoding okay and next one is a variable name which is a comma delimited what why we are giving the file variable name see when i open my csv file I have given this, this is my variable names, sorry, variables, test data which I have to pass. So I have not declared any headers, see, means like URLs, so like name, something headers, names, column names I have not declared. So I directly have passed this data, okay, directly I have passed test data. So if, how you will pass this test data, so that you have to save that particular test data into variable names so the in first we have discussed like it is useful and read the data from the csv file and split them into variables okay whatever data you have passed that data is going to store into variables so that variables you have to declare here so i am declaring suppose my variable i am declaring my comma delimiter why because this qtp tutorial means i am declaring as qtp so I have total four test data right which is in one row and next one is a selenium tutorial I am using selenium 
Okay, now what is the next? This is the HP LM QC. So I am using HP QC. So what is the next APM interview question? So I am using APM. This is my variable names. I want to store this test data into the variables. Whatever the data I am using here, YouTube tutorial, CLM, this dot HTML uh, particular values I want to save into these variables. Okay. YouTube is save into YouTube tutorials. Selenium save into Selenium tutorials. Okay, HPLM save into HPQC and uh, APM interview question save in this APM. Okay, what is a delimiter? Delimiter means if you have a particular data, suppose if you have a 10 columns, in that one only 5 columns having data, remaining 5 columns are don't have any data. So if you want to use for tab. Like if you, if you want to pass only five variable data uh, and you can use that comma here it is showing as default is comma that comma is automatically eliminated and it will start from previous records like this it will use. So allow, allow quoted data means see in allow quoted data there are mentioned allow quoted data means in CSV file you can mention as this like this in double quotation. If you have want to save your data, test data into double quotation, then you have to select this allow quoted data as true. If you mention as true, then only it will take that particular double quotation data. Otherwise, it will not take. So I'm not using here. So that's why you can set it as false. Most of the time, we cannot use this quoted quotations data. So that's why we am using false. So and recycle on EOF means end of file. What is this recycle on EOF means? Recycle on EOF means if you have set recycle on EOF means end of file once it is true. Suppose you have passed 10 records but here you have mentioned as 100. 100 virtual users okay but your data set config is only 10 records. You want to use those 10 records from starting. So once file end of file, it is reached to end of the file after 10 records, then if it is checking the con condition that whether it is a true or not recycle means again, it will go back to the first record, then it will start your execution from first record and it will come to end of records. Okay, then it will go to again, it will go to first record and it will run your script and uh, suppose you have mentioned as a false okay false okay so if once the 10 records are completed then your execution will stop automatically and next one the stop thread on eof see i am not using true why because if i am using true once end of file is reached it will stop the thread it will stop the thread group to execute your script execute your test plan so that's why you have to mention as a false then once end of file is true it is a false it will not stop and again it will go to first record and it will execute okay then when coming to sharing mode it is having all threads current thread group current thread and edit okay it is having different values you need to use all thread as a default why because sharing what is this sharing mode? sharing mode means your what are the test data files you are passing CSV files that data is going to share with all the threads all the threads and if you having thread one thread group they again I want to add one thread one more thread group under that thread group I want to add different different HTML so HTTP request okay so that's why you need to use all threads if you are using current thread group okay sorry current thread group then it, this csv data is going to execute only on this particular thread group otherwise it will not execute on a next if you have want to add another thread group you can have multiple thread groups here it will not execute under this whatever the http request on the earlier http request sample it will not execute okay it will not execute why because we have set as current thread group if you have set all threads, then it will also execute as per CSV data config. Okay, this all we will see in the next uh, lesson how to use multiple thread groups, multiple test plans. Okay, so like this, uh, next one is a current thread. This current thread only for this single thread group it will use. See, I have written here 
current thread means each file is open separately for each thread every time your file will be open every time your file will be open here current thread means you see it is having thread then it will open your file it will check the data and start executing so we should require only all threads okay Let's save this one i have declared this qtp selenium hpqc apm right yes you have to go to here see i have i'm mentioning as a qtp tutorial let's go to here and the unit to syntax is dollar sign and no curly braces open and close here you need to mention qtp okay this is a variable dynamically i am passing here let's go to here page this dollar sign curly braces open and close selenium and hp alm hp alm this go back to here delete dollar sign open and close curly braces hp qc i have given right you can see here hp qc next one is a apm just go to here let's go to here dollar open and curly braces apm i have said let me close the file otherwise it will give you error okay close everything reset everything and let's uh, execute our script let's see how it will execute sorry i have given 100 thread users that's why it is not it is giving i want to stop shut down bullshit it is uh, executing for 100 thread users shit shit it's run for one see all it is pass only sometimes it is failed see server is unavailable request is selenium to it is passing the data right response code is 503 at a time it is hitting 100 times okay let me run for only one so that you can understand how it is passing the data youtube tutorials here it is passing see qtp tutorial that html selenium selenium tutorial that html use hp alm qc dot in apm top 17 apm interview question dot in so as per your uh, test data this variable it is taking the values from csv data file from csv data file it is taking the values so that's why it is very important that you need to mention variable names here instead of mentioning the csv file so that it is taking the records from first file okay Thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and provide your valuable comments on this uh, topic uh, video so that uh, i can understand that how much i have given the real time experience details so please practice once and uh, provide your comments how you got uh, any knowledge on this video please provide your questions and suggestions and comments in the form of comments please share with uh, social media so that uh, many people can learn thank you thank you for watching me thank you for watching my videos so please subscribe for upcoming videos